What's up everyone? Uh, before we go any further into this video, I want to ask you to subscribe because I plan on putting out more nutrition videos in the next couple weeks, so it'd be cool if you were aware of them. Today, we are going to talk ketogenic workout shake. It's low carb, you can make it as high fat as you want, and I'm going to show you how to make it today. This is pretty much the base of this recipe. Some coffee, I'm going to use an espresso machine, some protein, some collagen, some almond milk, and some MCT oil. Pretty much the base of this is coffee, protein, almond milk. Um, everything else is sort of an upgrade. Cinnamon, and I mean creatine. If, if it's in line with your goals, if, if, you're, if you're using creatine already, this is something you can add in. You don't, you don't taste anything at all. So, I'm using an espresso machine. What you'll notice is I've put a little bit of ice because I don't like having anything too hot when I when I actually mix my protein. So I'm just doing the equivalent equivalent of an espresso shot and I'm gonna add this iced coffee into my protein shake. So this is how you do it. You're gonna take your iced coffee, you're gonna throw it into here. I like adding my almond milk right after. Almond milk serves as a really good base. You could use coconut milk, you could use pretty much any nut milk, even rice milk. Um, I prefer almond milk, um, but you just gotta be aware of how much you're using, especially if you're uh, conscious of your calories. Um, I don't put the full cup of, of almond milk in here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of almond milk as the base, and then I will use the, uh, the rest with water. Now, the next thing that I'll do is I'm putting uh, protein. So one scoop of protein uh, here is going to be about 30 grams of protein. And the good thing is, obviously with an, uh, a, a shake during your workout, providing the body with amino acids throughout the workout will prevent muscle breakdown. I know it's not as drastic as people make it seem, but I just like having a um, constant source of protein during my workouts, especially my hard workouts. So protein's in, collagen. About one scoop of this is about, I'm um, running a little low here, but uh, one scoop is about 10 grams of protein. And collagen has some really good benefits to joint health, skin health. Um, it could actually help with the digestive system if you're having issues with uh, the gut lining of your, of your, of your stomach. Um, so this also adds an extra boost of protein. I wouldn't use collagen as your main source of protein. I just like to upgrade it um, with what you're currently doing with your regular protein shake. I forgot to mention, with the protein, you can use uh, a whey protein, you can use a vegan protein, it's up to you. I like using a vegan protein because it sits well with me, uh, but choice is up to you. Next thing I'll add into here is some cinnamon. Cinnamon not only is awesome with regards to taste, um, I always find that coffee and cinnamon pair really well together. It gives that, that kind of like sweet sort of taste to it without adding any sugar. But cinnamon also, uh, it provides, it, it's packed with antioxidants. It helps with insulin sensitivity. It has some anti-inflammatory properties. So why not just, it's a perfect marriage between the shake and cinnamon. Next thing is MCT oil. So MCT oil is cool because um, not only is it an easy way of getting your fats higher, especially if you're following a ketogenic diet, but this is metabolized a lot differently than other fats. This is readily available for fuel as opposed to other fats which need to be metabolized and broken down to a specific way and not, they're not available for use of, as energy as quickly as MCT oil. So what I do is, and I'm ballparking things here, I'll put the equivalent of a tablespoon um, into my into my shake. I'm not really high fat right now, so I don't want to put too much, but this is an awesome option to put in if you're trying to get your fat intake higher throughout the day. Next thing, last but not least, creatine. Obviously, there's some um, performance benefits out of this. There's some cognitive benefits from creatine. It's just something that I have that I've been using lately, and it doesn't really taste like much when I put it in, so why not? So I have everything into the shake right now. All I'm gonna do, like I said, lower carb, I'm gonna add the rest with water. 
you'll notice I didn't blend this because I didn't want to make it a smoothie because I want it sort of sort of like a liquid uh, intro workout shake. I don't need anything too thick while I'm working out, so that's why I kept it this way. So this is not only low carb, high protein, it can be high fat if you make it um, a really good intro workout option um, if you're looking for something to sip on while you're working out. If, you're, if I've missed anything, if I've done something wrong, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you try it and you end up liking it because I think it's really, really tasty. It's like an upgraded iced coffee. Um, but I'll see you guys on the next video.